Y'all boys asked for it and y'all boys are gonna get it. Welcome to the Quincy Full Progression Guide in Type. So I'm very excited to make this video because I love my Quincy's. And I do want to say, make sure you guys hit that follow button and the like button. And I'm also going to be giving away a Hogeku fragment on my Twitch today. So make sure you guys tune in, boys and girls. Anyways, anyways, let's start with the video. I don't want to make this video too long. And let's get right into it. So whenever you guys spawn in as a Quincy, you guys are going to be a grade 5 Quincy. I, I don't think they do trainees anymore because I spawned in as a grade 5 Quincy. So yeah, first thing you guys want to do is that you guys want to do the mission boards. Mission boards until you get grade 2. All you got to do for the mission boards is create a party, click on the mission board, Yada, yada, yada. Boom, boom, boom. Also, I do recommend using codes because they have a ton of codes in the Discord server. And literally, you can get like 50 rerolls if you guys are new to the game. So, some advice with doing these uh, quests, by the way, is I know you guys are new to the game. You guys don't do a lot of damage. But spam your R move or press tab and use the arrows. Mission board R. Because whenever you're in the game, the fir your first weapon is a critical that um, is long range. So, it shoots an arrow that block breaks. So you just just keep backing up and then spamming that because they're gonna block whenever you uh critical let me show you guys let me see if i can do it okay oh whatever <laughs> but yeah you guys know what i'm trying to say here but yeah just spam your r move that's your critical and just keep on doing that until you get grade two uh mission boards to get grade two so now that you guys got grade two it's time to get your shrift now whenever you get grade two um you guys have to go to the castle uh, the castle is over here. So what you guys want to do is you guys, someone just pop let's still. Um, you guys want to go to the top of the castle and you guys going to talk to the, I believe it's the balance. Um, but you guys are, this NPC is going to be a friend because this is how you get your shift and your vote standing. So, um, make sure you guys talk to the, talk to this NPC first. Just follow me. And then, um, yeah, <clears throat> but anyways, I really do hope that these videos help you guys a lot because you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make guides for the new players and you know, just to help you guys a lot. But we're going to be continuing our progression series, so make sure you guys check those videos out. I know you guys will love them. Uh, talk to the MPPC right here. The balance. And after that, you guys want to talk to the statue. Also, don't forget, this is for your shrift. So the statue is going to be literally opposite of the castle. Just go straight and cross the bridge. Boom! Talk to the statue is going to whisper you words on what you guys have to do. Now, for your shrift quest, this is what you guys have to do. Number one, you have to kill one Ajicha, two Menoses, five Fish Bones, three Enroncar players that are actual players, and three Shinigami players that are actual players. Now, for me, what I did was that I would get the NPCs out of the way first. Kill the Ajicha, kill the two Menos, kill the five Fish Bones, because that's the easiest part. Because you don't want to do the hard part first and you have to repeat it again. You know what I'm saying? Now, for the Aronkar and Shinigami kills, this is depending on if you guys have friends or not. I know you guys know the game. So, what I would do is I, I'd go invade their homeland and try to find some low players. You know what I'm saying? Do it the mischievous way. Because, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to, you're trying to get swift, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I got my friends. So, if you guys have friends, they can help you. And that's basically how I did it. So, yeah. Another thing that I do want to say is that at this time, you got your, um, your way to grade up will change now. So, not only will you have to do mission uh, EXP, you guys now have to get Shinigami slash Aronkar grip. So, now we're going to um, show you guys where the KT hospital is to check what you guys need to rank up. Alright, so whenever you guys use your key, go again, or whenever you guys use your key, you guys going to go to the hospital to check your mission EXP. The hospital is going to be over here, I believe. But make sure you guys come with 1k con boss. All right, here we go. Boom, come inside, pause. Put a pause on that, put a key on it. Boom, talk to the NPC, 1k con. This is what you guys need to do. Just say gather more experience or gather um, Shinigami slash Oran card kills. Now, for those kills, you could have a, have a friend or, I mean, it could be anybody, a trainee. Right? Just for those kills, it could be anybody, so, you know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, that's how you check what you guys need to grade up. And then at this point, you guys should be doing raids because raids give more than mission EXP. And you could also get grips from those two. So just try to do that also. And also after raids, you got the loot boxes. Um, loot boxes are really um, easy to grind. Use a big OE move, get them out of the way, and get yourself a hog frag or a skill box or any legendary item. So just grind those. Anyways, now let's talk about getting your vote standing. Ra la la. What they got going on over there? Um. Now, boys and girls, vote standing time. So, so to get your vote standing, you guys didn't have a league grade, of course. 
and you guys are going to be given three different stages. Stage one, I recommend everyone is to do 13 raids. You know what I'm saying? Get your loot up, accessories. This is your time to get legendary items because after the raids, you get loot boxes, bro. Grind them. Stage two, you guys have one battle state to kill in Hueco Mundo, 80 fishbone, make sure it's a fishbone, and 15 elite grade grips. As I said, friends. I ain't gonna lie. For most of this game, you guys might want friends. Like, if you guys don't have friends, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I mean, you can still progress. It's gonna be a lot harder. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm trying to say? But yeah. Stage three. Stage three is either you can do it or you can't. Because it is ping based and it is kind of skill based. It's a parry game. You guys have to parry your walks lightning. Now, ain't gonna lie. For this strat, if I were you, I just try to hop servers and check which server I have the best ping in. But. After for stage three, you guys want to come to this NPC up here. Boom, talk to the balance and parry your watch light. Um, I believe someone said it's 33 lightning strikes. So I recommend going uh, your graphics up, not too high. Looking up, boom, parry it like that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that's it. Now we're gonna be talking about end game. Now end game for Quinties is gonna get that lead still from 10 Hongiki fragments or true leads from one true hog friend. Anyways, hope this video helped you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.